thank you so much for stopping back by my channel. Today's video is going to be uh, my makeup, my 15 minute makeup routine. Uh, a few of you had asked me on here and I also got asked on Instagram what have, been, have I been doing with my makeup lately. So I figured I haven't done a makeup video in maybe like almost two years. I wanted to just update you guys on the products that I've been using and how I go about applying my makeup. Now this isn't, this is kind of going to be... I guess it's like a chit chat style. I really don't know. I don't have much to talk about, guys. It's, life has been crazy. I guess I could talk about that. But I'm also going to try and do this in 15 minutes. Let's see um, how it goes. So I'm going to start off. I still have this product. I absolutely love this. This is the Perlis. It's their S SPF 30 um, Daily Moisturizer. It's the summertime. So... I just keep some luck on all the time. All the time. Oh wait, so I was on Twitter the other day and I tweeted something and I feel like I'm not the only one who feels this way, which is why I'm gonna say it. I was talking about how um, like having a celebrity crush can really just boost your creativity, I feel like, because I be creating full blown uh, stories in my mind. I'm using the Fenty primer, and I could I could probably write a whole script and a movie, but like I could probably do that off of me and my celebrity crush. It's actually a talent, I think. But my recent one, who I'm not gonna name because I have to get over them, is um is younger than me, significantly, and at least in my ballpark. I know it's like age is nothing but a number. For me, it's a little young. So uh, it was different because my mind was like, oh, we could just be, you know, friends. And creating friend stories with your celebrity crush is absolutely hysterical. So I'm using the um, Fenty Foundation. This is actually a sample because I got a little bit tanner. This is 380 Cool. Um, I really like it for the summertime. I just find that with the heat and everything, you need a matte foundation or no foundation at all. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brush Foundation Full Coverage Face Brush, which has been in my life forever. And I'm going to start right here. But yeah, so I've had a brush on him for quite some time. And recently I was like, yep, got to let it go because, you know, when you have these celebrity crushes, you're basically like a detective and you basically know everything. And I have a pretty strong feeling that he's about to get in a relationship, so I'm trying to prepare myself. Even though we were just friends in all of these stories that I created, you know, I still re I'm one of those women I just respect. I'm one I'm one of those people, I guess, that that feel weird about. And this is in real life. Like, if you're in a relationship and I'm friends with you as a dude, I'm probably gonna back up a little bit just out of respect for the woman. I don't know how she is, and she's you know okay with some people are okay with their significant others having friends of the opposite sex uh i would like to say that i'm probably not one of those people so i think that's why naturally i back up yeah like this is my color but it's not <clears throat> okay um let me work so yeah i i i, I think I've, I've i've realized i have an art of just making up fake stories. Like, even when I'm at home, I'm sure I'm not the only one who, who does this, so y'all don't think I'm weird, but I'm, I know I'm not the only person who does this, who talks to themselves. <clears throat> and my only problem is, uh, I like to, like, not only talk to myself, but I create fake scenarios in my brain. And it can be a really good thing for creativity, like, creativity, like I said, but it can also be dangerous. One time, um, one of my friends, when she saw me in person, she's like, oh my God, I had a dream that you were pregnant. I'm not pregnant. The chances of me getting pregnant are negative two right now in my life. That's not a, nope, not, it's not possible. But she had said that to me and I was like, you know what? Funny story, friend. I'm taking a little too long with this foundation. Um, I was talking to myself in my house and she was there, the friend who told me that she, thought I, she had a dream I was pregnant. She was there and another friend. And we were talking about how, um, I can't, sometimes I put too much, how she was basically telling me, I was telling her how 
in this conversation that I was having with myself in my house and my two friends that were not really there, that I was pregnant and um, I was still working out. And she was like going in on about how, on and on about how, you know, you have to be careful because when you're pregnant, you can't just work out. I know you want to like stay fit, but you can't work out the way um, that you normally would. And I was like, no, guys, like I found this this really great all of this is a story I'm, I'm creating no one is in my house I'm just talking to myself I was like I found this really great um trainer and I found her on Instagram and she like specializes in uh this is a, a Nikki K I think this was a lip liner but I just I like it as a brow basically I was telling them that I found this trainer <laughs> I just laugh because it's, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyways, um, and she specializes in, like, moms-to-be and, uh, like, moms who have, new, new moms who are, I guess, trying to lose weight and stuff. And I was like, she's really great. And, like, I was on the, her Instagram page in my mind, in my mind, guys, this is all in my mind, or not really, I guess I was saying it out loud, but this is not real. Like, yeah, I was showing you guys the Instagram page. After I finished the story, my friend was literally just standing there looking at me like, yeah, man, there's, there's definitely something uh, something wrong with you. And I was like, you know, I mean, sometimes I just, I'd be bored. And talking to yourself can just, it's exciting. That's why I think I always just, do, these celebrity crushes of mine are so strong. Like when I had a crush on Chris Brown, when I was probably in college, I know a lot of people don't like him right now. He's young. Um... I was crying. I was with my, my two friends and they were laughing at me because I was sitting on the floor watching this video of him like dance on this other girl and I was in tears. I was in real life tears because in my mind, I had a chance for this man. Now, I just find it funny that <laughs> that I thought I had a chance being that he was all the way famous. It's not like some of my other crushes, I end up, like I had a crush on Keith Powers. But when I had a crush on him, he, he was he was still somewhat new. I think up until two years ago, people knew who he was, but he wasn't as big as I think he is now. So that was doable. Chris Brown was not doable. I never had a chance. In my mind, I did. I'm using the Instant uh, Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline. I sometimes do this one or the NARS. I like the NARS if I'm doing like a long night, but I like this because it, for the daytime, because it is able to help... Um, just bring down any swelling with my bags. And yeah. So back to Chris Brown. Um, yeah, just like a, it, it, if those crushes feel so real. And that's why with this one, I'm like, you gotta, I tell myself I have to mentally prepare for this person, for him to get a girlfriend because they feel so real. Like I really, in my mind, somehow, um, I think that. I'm gonna be with them, and and I'm 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 really not, guys. While this dry or sits a little bit, I'm just gonna go around the perimeter of my forehead with. It's like oh, it's a hard angle brush. I don't do this that often in the summertime because I don't care. I'm usually I'm pretty tan, but I like to do this before I spread out the concealer because I just for whatever reason it ends up looking better. So yeah. That's basically my whole spiel on my celebrity crush, and I just wanted to know if anyone else has crushes that are as crazy as mine. I know I can't be the only one. Like, I, my friends make it seem like I'm the only one who's like this, but I know I can't be the only one. Y'all? Somebody? I'm just weird, and I'm, it's, it's, it's a good thing, though, I feel, when you're weird and you know you're weird, because... You know, there's, there's really nothing wrong with being weird. It's actually very, 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 very eventful. And I have a lot of fun talking to myself and my celebrity crushes. <gasps> Nine minutes. And um, I don't really care otherwise. So I don't let this sit on too long because it starts to bother me. Um, and I use, I love my beauty blender. But I'm not going to lie. I find that it as it should, it's a sponge, it picks up too much product. So I use it in the areas that I want to be a little bit duller. Obviously, I use my forehead and around my mustache. But the areas where I want the coverage to stay, I go back to this brush and I, yeah, pat it out. 
very uh, simple. Nothing grand here. One second. Sorry. Camera was being weird. Um, yeah, so I'd like to use this. I've had this brush for so long. I probably should have replaced it by now, but I just, uh, I can't. <laughs> and basically what I like to do with my, um, yeah, so see over here, there's probably a little bit more than I would have wanted. So I don't mind using the beauty blender here, but basically in the eye area, over here, I need it. I need it! I'm back. <clears throat> so, yeah, basically to sum up my celebrity crush situation, I can't have a crush on this said celebrity anymore. Uh-oh. Um, and it's fine. But the thing, I guess this one is like the hardest, not even gonna lie, guys because all of my stories consisted, us of, consisted of us being friends and I just felt like that was a lot more realistic. And I really liked their music, so I have to hear them still. And know that I don't have a chance at being friends with them. At being friends with them. Not even like with being them, like being with them, but being friends. I'm telling you right now, I think I'm allergic to something on like that. So whenever I apply my powder, um, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup, I believe. I tilt my head down. And I do this because I have, um, my eyes are pretty big. My eyes are pretty, pretty big. And um, I find that if I tilt my head up, the concealer is already like seeping into my creases and my back, so it's become a little bit more noticeable, so. I tilt my head down. It's faster. I have like two minutes. I also had like a crush. I used to have celebrity crushes on like grown men, aka Idris Elba. Again. In my mind, it seemed like no big deal. I'm like, oh, I have a crush on Idris Elbow. He's definitely gonna be interested in me and my little, my little self. At the time, it made a lot of sense. Even though one of my friends, she really likes him, so I kind of just, I let him go. I was like, you know what, we can't, we can't. It's awkward to have a crush. Like none of me and my, what, nine friends, however many of us there, we don't really have strong crushes on the same person at the same time. Like, I mean, I'm sure each of us at one point went through, through a Chris Brown phase, but it was not at the same time. I'm sure we all, the few of us who went through an Idris Elba phase. There's people that I think we all kind of like, but uh, I'm using this naked palette. It's very old. Um, but we don't all like them at the same time. I'm doing this on my forehead. Guys, forgetting that I'm about to bring my bangs down. Silly girl. Yeah, we don't like them at the same time. So once I think my friend was like fully in love with Idris Elba. And also what happened is somebody had said to me, uh, you know, Idris Elba really reminds me of your dad. And I was like, why did you do that? But why did you, why, who told you, just, why, why would you say that? Why would you say that to me? <laughs> Knowing how I feel, why would you say that? Oh, I'm, I just, I don't know. I was watching something one day and you kind of look like your dad. I was like, oh, that's really nice. I really don't like you. Please don't talk to me ever again. Not as bad as I think, though. Who was it? What's his name? I don't know why I can't remember his name right now. From Empire. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's on Instagram, whatever his name is. Someone said that he, they, he, that, per, that he reminds them of my younger brother. And I was just like, yeah, uh, I've got a clock out here. You know, uh, this isn't, I don't really feel like this was fair of you to say in the first place. And um, I don't play those kind of games, so so that's my thing with Idris. Even though I saw, what did we watch the other day? I watched Obsessed, the movie with Beyonce. Beyonce, Sharon! And uh, I definitely still have the same sentiments about Idris. Hasn't gone away. 
So yeah, at this point, I like to spray my face uh, before I put any eyeliner on. I also like to do this because sometimes this area is a little bit too ashy looking. Uh, this is the Scandinavia finishing spray. I sprayed a lot of it on because as many of you probably already know, the Fenty Foundation is, is a, a mattifying foundation and I don't like to, um, I don't like to look dry. It's a really weird combo for me. Like I like matte foundations because you get that airbrushed kind of no pores finish, but I already have had dry skin in the past. Now I'm kind of leaning more towards combination skin. So I don't like to look dry, you know, don't like to look dry. And I learned my lesson about not doing the, um, before like eyeliner. I can't talk when I do this. I don't know if other people can, but I cannot talk. It's just like, if I talk while doing it, I, if I talk while doing it, I feel like I'm gonna mess up. I do not put eyeliner on my bottom um, lash line, I don't do it. This is the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner. I think I'm forgetting. I'm almost done. Uh, I just hit 15 minutes, so much for that, guys. Okay, well, it's less than 20 minutes. Let's do a 20 minute makeup routine. It actually would be 15 minutes, but you know, I don't know where something is, so. Help. I'm using the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Again, another thing that I cannot do in talk, so forgive me. And I I push on my la la lower lash line and I then I begin to work it out. And I do that because, again, I don't put eyeliner, but I do. I don't like that lash, bottom lash line to look kind of bare. I don't like that for me. My mom taught me when I was younger because she would only let me wear mascara. That was considered uh, risque enough for a 15 year old. <clears throat> <laughs> that mascara is your, should be your best friend because, or lashes or whatever, it really makes a difference. And I didn't believe her until, until now. Um, I try not to wear that often because I don't want my eyelashes, I think my eyelashes are gonna fall out, but I've noticed how much of a difference it makes. Slight difference, but and then I guess in another way, not so slight. It just like opens up the eyes, you know? Waha! Voila! And then of course I need a little highlighter. I just really like looking highlighter yellow. It's my favorite color actually. Ooh, a powder all over myself. Oopsies. I'm using the Wet n Wild highlighting powder. I forgot what color this is. It's the one that looks rose goldy. This one. And for whatever reason lately, I've been putting my highlighter on the wrong spot, but let's see today. Another thing that I just can't really talk and do. I don't know why. I feel like this is hard. I just feel a little distracted. I used to hate putting highlighter on my nose. I don't know why, but I did. Guys, I think I'm about to hit that 20 minute mark. And I'm under it, only 18 minutes.
Uh, this is the, uh, the color pop. It's a satin lip, which I really like. And the color is 951. Between this and the MAC um, Oral, I think that's all I use. Like, it's just, you know when you have a go-to look, you really don't want to switch up. You're like, oh, we're going out. Okay, let me do the same thing I always do. Okay, so I'm done. This is my look. It's really simple. It's literally nothing too extravagant in my opinion, but I really like to focus on an airbrush finish, which is why this has become my best, best friend, this brush really helps keep my pores looking small. I think someone said that to me the other day and I was like, oh my God, stop. They're like, wait, do you have makeup on? I was like, yeah. I'm like, your skin looks amazing. I was like, it's the Fenty foundation and this brush right here. I will never, ever, ever, ever replace this brush. If it falls apart, I, I'm getting another one. The Fenty foundation, as most of you already know, it really just, it works wonders. Paired with this primer, it's magical. And my makeup doesn't move. If I were to set my like laugh lines a little bit more with the Sasha powder, I could probably go a good seven hours and literally like no movement, which was never a thing for me. Okay. Never a thing. My makeup used to move all the time because I know what I was doing. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time in my next one. If you like this and you want more, just like sit down stream of consciousness, me running my mouth and blabbing along videos, then, uh, give it a thumbs up or let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one.